and you know we've talked about it before that in, in terms of he has kind of the two classic chick movies and, and ghost and dirty dancing and, and two classic guy movies maybe three if you're counting red dawn which norman wilkerson our, our good friend tweeted me earlier about when i mentioned this online um roadhouse and point break so right. he's, he's kind of an interesting actor that he has these very gender specific roles and we started debating whether like what's the best movie and i say that the roadhouse is his best movie and my girlfriend of course thinks it's dirty dancing you know as any guy and girl would think that would that would be so i said this in our little show prep before and robbie says no the, the dirty dancing is the better movie no that's ridiculous well first of all ghost is better than dirty dancing right I, I mean, that's is that even up for debate ghost is a better movie so if you're just talking about the chick flicks i'd go ghost robbie any opinion you could give me either one of them they're both light really <laughs> either one he's happy <laughs> Well, but, I just saw at the National Harbor this past summer, they have a little show, uh, you know, they show a movie outside on the projector and, you know, it's free and they had Dirty Dancing. And so me and the girlfriend went down there and watched it. It was packed. There was a lot of women were going crazy. So I, I don't know. The dancing, you understand, that, that really pushes it over the top. That's why they love the movie because they can dance to it and the soundtrack and the music. You know, Ghosts is more heavy. So I think that the more women like Dirty Dancing than Ghosts, actually. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to – I don't know how we'll ever find that out since both movies came out 20 years ago. Well, you know, this is where all we talk about these things now. But, but I'm I sure – Roadhouse is definitely a better movie. Oh, no doubt. It's a better movie. At the end of Roadhouse, there's a big fat guy. I can't remember what his name. is like Tiny. He's a short fat guy, and a bear falls on him. Do you remember that? <laughs> when, he, when he's in the end, yes, at the end when he's fighting all, all the – he goes – he drives the, his car through the guy's – you know, yard and they shoot at him and everything. And he, he beats everybody up and goes in there and he ends up killing, uh, can't remember the bad guy's name, but, but, uh, it takes like 15 seconds for this bear to fall on this fat guy. Now, the other thing that great about roadhouse is remember he is like his arch rival, like, um, damn it. I wish I could remember the name of the bad guy in roadhouse, but anyway, Ben Gazar plays him and he has a henchman. Remember Brad he was fighting him, right? Brad, that's right. Brad Wesley. <laughs> and remember he rips his throat out. Yes. It's right. Good. Well, this guy, remember, he was a badass, the guy who he ended up fighting. Yeah. And he, of course, he, he rips his throat out and he wins the fight by killing him. Then he has trouble beating up Brad Wesley. <laughs> if you watch that. Yes. The old guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so, you, of course, you got the, the great Jeff Healy, the blind uh, guitar player. Mm -hmm. And you movie. have, uh, of course, Sam Elliott, another great scene is when he's telling him, get out of town, it's too big, or whatever, you know, the Sam Elliott guy, the Marlboro man. He's like, you got to get out of town. This is too big for us, or whatever, come Padre. And then he says something that was over the top, and Swayze, or Dalton, hauls off to punch him. He catches his fist in the air. Boom. I mean, you don't have anything like that, that kind of drama found in Dirty Dancing. <laughs> it, it, anywhere, really. I mean, in life. Robbie, how are, how are you saying that, Dirty Another dance. thing, before that. Robbie defends it, one more thing. Remember, he's cooler is what they call him, right? Yeah, yeah. It's what he is. So he's in there and he's he he's observes at first. Remember, he sees people stealing from the you know from the uh, register, and he sees all kinds of you know unethical uh, activities going on. And then he goes in there. He's like, "You're fired" or whatever. And then the people leave. And then he goes, "In here, it's my way or the highway." Now. That might be the first time that's ever been said. I mean, I just, I, if it is, then it they might have, been. have adopted that phrase and it's been used thousands and thousands of times. Now, if it's not the first time, yeah, I mean, that might be a little bit of a problem. But the point is, you know, to, to for someone actually to use the line, it's my way or the highway, that takes balls, Robbie, because that's pretty much as cliche as you can get. Well, I'm going to declare that it was the first time. And there's no sayings from Dirty Dancing that people say in conversation. <laughs> Nobody not, says you don't put baby in the corner as a as normal saying. Not in the, yeah, not in the, not in at the course of a conversation. No. But it, during this show, it is Robbie's way or the highway. So it is Robbie's way or the highway. You should love that quote, but yeah. My girlfriend has texted me now. She walked into the room to let me know that she texted me to make, that I haven't mentioned her comment that Patrick Swayze shakes his booty better in Dirty Dancing. And uh, that's what she needed me to say. Well, don't 
women like the the tough Patrick Swayze, or they like the sensitive Pat? I guess they <laughs> they like the sensitive one. They, I guess they like both. But I mean, they're both similar movies, and they're the guys love the fighting and the violence. And you take that out of the, the movie, there's nothing there. And you take away the dancing and the music out of Dirty Dancing, there's really nothing there. I think that women like Dirty Dancing because the love interest in the movie is not good looking. And that women seem to be a big fan of that. Like, hey, like that's what I look like. She's that, attainable. Yeah. Are, are they, they, it, yeah, that an average kind of girl can get this hot, cool guy. You think there's some validity to that? Because Robbie also feels the same way, preferring Dirty Dancing to Roadhouse. Well, that's true. He well, Swayze also in Dirty Dancing is sort of like the the bad boy with the heart of gold. You know. Yeah, they like that too. So uh, just so you'll know, um, Ghost eighty four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Dirty Dancing sixty eight percent. And that's the old Dirty Dancing. I don't know what the uh, I don't the know new one is a hundred percent. Now here's something that's pretty amazing. You go with Roadhouse and it says it's going to get um, – damn it. Sorry. Give me a second here. Because what they do is they do two things on here. They tell you what they give the movie, but then they say what audience says, what the audience says. So, of course, it's got a 43% um, from the critics, Roadhouse. Audience, 100%. Everyone <laughs> loves it. Everyone. It's impossible not it's to love It's not it. possible to not like it. All right, Robin, we haven't given you a chance to defend your awful uh, stance here. Why is Dirty Dancing a better movie than Roadhouse? Well, how do you, what do you use to define what a good movie is? Production values, writing, acting. It Dialogue. Fails. Yeah, exactly. Cinematography. It, it, exactly. It fails on every level. Now, somehow it's still watchable. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What about the soundtrack? <laughs> you know, like Angel Eyes by Jeff Healy? It's not in Great that song. song. Yes, yeah. I like that song, but we were I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about how it's it's stupid dialogue. It's not good production values. The acting is horrible in it. No. It's a completely unbelievable on all levels. No. <laughs> I believe all of I believe that there's small towns with, with dive bars where there's a lot of violence. And I Sweeping believe that the guys... or that's a direct line from Roadhouse. Yeah. I think <laughs> Sam Elliott and Swayze are great in that movie. <laughs> And so is the the, the Gazara guy, the bad guy. Yep. You got the and you got the the blonde chick that's his bimbo girlfriend. Yes. She gets up, starts dancing on the bar. Great. Big fight breaks out. Yeah. He they fires start. that one guy, which is awesome. That he was hooking up with a chick in the break room. You know. Was, he he fires the waitress selling drugs. He won't have any drugs in a he's bar. He's cleaning it up. It's a, it's yeah. what we it's what this country needs, Robbie. <laughs> Robbie, do you know the name of the bar? I forget. The Double Deuce. Come on. <laughs> You know